Howdy everybody. We're not working on this today because I'm waiting on the jacks. We are working on the trailer. The current issue is when the camper is on the truck, I can't open the tailgate with the trailer attached. So I am going to be, with the help of Coda, cut all the welds right here and then take this whole plate and the jack out and use one of these two and French it into the frame and hole saw a hole for this to drop down and move the jack back. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this thing off, but first, gotta take some precautionary measures and try to cover the ram up the best that I can. if we can't pry this thing up and get this thing out of there. Aha! There we go. Foot just unpinned. And this thing should. Aha! Come right out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up just to make it look pretty. We'll go ahead and work on getting one of these two plates and figure out where we want it at. Now that I have absolutely ruined this tarp, we can do uh, do this next part. So you see where the predicament was. It was hitting right here. All right. I think we have a game plan. Plan is to be able to weld down the sides, have this piece drop down in, have a little bit on the sides, and a little bit that overlaps over top so I can weld all the way around and down just so it is extra beefy, even though I could probably just put a plate right on top and it would probably be fine. But I'm gonna make sure that this is not going anywhere. All right, there she is. Have some nice filler gaps. I still gotta do cleanup on all the edges, but this will fit perfect. Gotta do some uh, cleanup on everything and then the frame as well. And we'll get this, get this welded on. I think that looks pretty good right there. Got some bare metal everywhere. That fits nice and snug. Now I just gotta go see if I have the proper hole saw for this and see if I'm gonna drill the hole before or after I weld it on. Yeah, let me go see. And then we can get the welder out here. I gotta clean everything up and then we can get it on. Well, out of my little kit I have, I have one that's close enough. This hole's a little oblong anyways, so uh, I think we'll make that work. I'm going to drill it here. I might regret that, but that's the decision I'm making. I think that this will end up being plenty strong. Especially just for a jack. But hey, you know what? What do I know? Not much. 
enough to get me by. I would say that that is going to be plenty strong for a jack. Welds aren't exactly perfect. Got a booger weld right there. Sticking out like a sore thumb. Right in everybody's face. But it's going to hold and it's not going to go nowhere. So now I can let this cool down because I'm not doing anything until it cools down at least a little bit. Grab the hole saw. Make sure I mark it in the right spot. And weld that guy in. Coming along very nice. A little bit of a predicament. My hole saw is completely shot for the size that I need. It's just taking the top off the metal. So this will have to wait to be finished till tomorrow. Because Jake says that he should have one. So I'm going to wait and see if he does. And uh, we will get it done as fast as. Hole cut out for the jack to drop in. Now I got to clean this thing up and clean this up and get this ready to weld. Everything's all prepped, ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and weld her in. And of course, right when I go to weld the last bit, I'm out of wire. Just my luck. The last bit that I need. And we're back. Got my wire. And uh, there's a place down the road from me, a little bit down the road, but it's closer than anywhere else. And they're open later than everywhere else on Saturdays. He carries propane, welding gases, acetylene gases, welding supplies, pipe fittings. He, he carries a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I'm going to put all the information right here, the, the address, the location, and it just, just to help anybody else out because I almost forgot about it and uh, it's way better than having to go all the way to Tacoma or Auburn to get all my welding supplies. He has really good pricing. Um, I mean, a full spool of 0.30 solid core wire. It's like 36 bucks, so it's not bad for being close and on a Saturday. say they are uh, too shabby I think they will hold not the best looking things but I think this will get the job done so now let that cool down blew some air on it to cool it down a little bit quicker uh, I'm gonna grab the wire wheel wire wheel all this up and then throw some paint on it and call this little project a day got about two coats on there I'm gonna let this dry for a bit and throw a few more coats on i do want to repaint the entire trailer one of these days but that day is not today because i would like to do the entire deck with bed liner so it's got a lot more grip because when we go out to the snow and it's snowing all day while we're gone the uh, metal deck turns into a sheet of ice so i would like to put some texture down on top of that but let the paint dry, throw a few more coats, and then we're gonna hook it up and drop the tailgate. Final test. Clears. And it should easily clear being cranked either way. I mean, that's some pretty decent gappage. Call on that, a success. Now that the trailer's good, I'm gonna get back to working on the Ram Charger. So, that's gonna be it for this video. Next up, get the body off the frame. Gotta get this thing going. Getting anxious. It's getting hot. Hot in Topeka. Got a booger welder right there. 
sticking out like a sore thumb. Right in everybody's face. 